Hey guys, welcome to a Tuesday edition of Callus Invitational 3. This is round 2 action, and unlike last round where everybody waited till the weekend to play, we have a lot of matches that have already played for round 2. There's five of them in fact, and I'm going to be doing three of them tonight. These all happened while I was at work today. I do know the outcome, but I didn't really get to watch the games. I just saw bits and pieces, so it's really cool to get to sit down and check these out the proper way. And I hope you guys enjoy the show as well. So the first set here is winner's bracket action. That is Triangles and Zomog. Triangles took out Conflict, and Zomog beat Marco P in the first round, respectively. And now these guys are looking for the 2-0 start, which is a great place to be. So let's get into it. Triangles on the bottom, he's got a meta, Zomog on top with a Zapdos, switch to Fori here, and Blissey respectively. Now Titar, and also Blissey, wow he doesn't spike up there, he respects the possibility of a Fire Blast from the Bliss. Substitute from Titar, and an Ice Beam does not pop it, so probably a Focus Punch incoming here. And Zomog goes to a Fighting Resist, in case that is the case. Zapdos takes it okay, about a fourth, 24%, but there could be something worse, like an Ice Beam or a Crunch coming. Fire Blast is the best thing Titar can do, 38% as Zapdos pops the sub. Wow, but he doesn't stay in to go for it there. Had Triangle's been willing to eat a Thunderbolt, and assuming Fire Blast doesn't miss, of course, he would have killed the Zapdos there, so a very conservative pullback from Triangle's, whereas most people, I think, would have stayed and gone for it. He does kill Zapdos with S-Toss plus Sand, but Dugtrio coming in here trying to get the revenge kill on the Bliss. Earthquake 56% is doing more damage than the Bliss is recovering with Soft Boiled. Triangles realizes this is hopeless, so he goes for the crit or the freeze via Ice Beam. Gets neither, and down it goes. So we've got ourselves a relatively quick 5-5. Aerodactyl comes in. That's a poke that's largely fallen out of the metagame and has not been popular in this tournament so far. It double edges into Fortress, it does as much as you'd expect, very little, and it gets out of the way. Substitute happens again here on the Switch, this time it's Gengar, Crunch would be devastating in this instance, Thunderbolt pops the sub, but again he does not have that, he simply goes Fire Blast, however, he's gonna get a lucky 10% burn on the Gengar. Zapdos comes in. And it is Boom, which does much less damage than it otherwise would have. Remember, Boom there was intended to hit Titar, so we could then follow up with Dugtrio and kill it. But because he boomed on the Zapdos, and Dugtrio cannot Arena Trap flying Pokemon, that actually turns out to be a bad sequence for Zomog. Raikou was the last poke. It calm mined up and got immediately roared away. Now it's on the bad end of a critical hit on the way in. Triangle's looking pretty good in this game. T-Bolt and Roar, respectively. That's some free damage. That's a good turn for Zomog. Dugtrio in. Dugtrio out. And it comes in on a hidden power that would have been aimed at the Dugtrio. Raikou pretty low, though. Down to a third already. Thunderbolt will take out Zapdos, though. So we've got ourselves a 4-4. Here's the Aerodactyl follow-up here. Very dangerous in this position. Earthquake can't go too far wrong. It hits every single poke that Zomog has remaining. Nevertheless, Fortress takes it well enough to prompt a switch for Triangles. We end up with Dugtrio on Starmie. Starmie is trapped here, and it eats an EQ. It survives, barely, and it gets a Surf off. And now, once again, we have the Raikou, which, based on the sand, is faster here. And, yep, it makes its move first as well. So that was either a speed tie, or the Raikou is simply faster, with the Starmie not being max speed. So we've got ourselves a 3-3. Critical hit earthquake here. Here's a non-crit and a boom respectively. Heavy damage but not a knockout. Here comes Blissey. Obviously Raikou not going to switch into a faster choice span earthquake. So Bliss comes in. Ice Beam aimed at Arrow. Instead finds Meta. Meta is gaining lefties. We haven't seen Meta since it let off. There's the boom and there's the game. Unless somehow the Aerodactyl is slower than the Raikou. It'll just click earthquake here and that'll be that. And Zomog does not even check, does not even go, hey, it could be an adamant arrow. He simply concedes. Granted, I mean, I would have played it out just in case. What the hell difference does it make one more turn? But very, very likely, it was just the traditional plus speed Aerodactyl. Would have been faster there, and the game was over. 
So, game one is going to go to triangles. It is a best of three, as they all have been up to this point. So, thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll get right on over to game two. Coming up next.